find that more people are now beginning to uh, pay attention to the ninjutsu, especially the Kogar, Kogar ninjutsu systems. And there's uh, also a great number of people asking questions about Aiki Jiu-Jitsu for self-defense purposes, which is amazing because a few years back, I'll say 30 years ago, no one wanted any parts of uh, Aiki Jiu-Jitsu or Jiu-Jitsu forms. Everybody wanted to study either Judo or Karate because it was mainstream. But we seem to have come full cycle. And uh, even the uh, even very skilled and experienced practitioners of different systems are now beginning to embrace the uh, ninja systems and the uh, Aiki Jiu-Jitsu system. And that makes me very happy. Part of ninjutsu is the ability to uh, deal with, uh, <coughs> with, with difficult times, like the times that we're experiencing lately. Uh, you know, we, we find that a lot of people are under psychological uh, stress, and they're pretty much stressed out and all of that. And there's a lot of problems uh, where people are attacked economically and are afraid of losing jobs and, and losing their, their, their livelihoods and, and their, their belongings because of, of jobs and certainty. And that may not be the case in, with most people, but it's used, <coughs> it's used by those in power to, uh, uh, to, to, to squeeze and pressure these people, to keep them off balance. But by practicing these ninja art forms, we learn that combat also uh, originate from the mind and the most uh, the most common form of of uh, combat today in today's society is psychological combat so therefore ninjutsu at its core is a psychological set of attacks and defenses master duncan a father a leader one of the most important men in my life beside my father he is my instructor since i was a little child he trusted me he taught me. He proved me through life. I learned many things. No longer I'm young. Master Duncan, uh, I'm not going to talk about who is first and who does the most. Uh, we all know that Master Duncan was doing the other ninjutsu way back in those uh, years, back in the 60s. Uh, I've known Professor Duncan for almost 20 years now. We from Panama, both of us are from Panama, you know, and uh, both of our path in the martial art is kind of parallel. So, if, you know, it looks like if you write his resume and you look at mine, look like some one of us is, you know, <laughs> is, is taking off of the other one. But we were raised during the, uh, the World War II era, you know, and uh, he was a boxer just like I was, you know, and there were a lot of Japanese and Chinese in our area. He was on the Pacific side, I was on the Atlantic side, and he learned a lot of uh, the heart in his area, so, you know, so did I. Um, as for the ninja part of it, uh, back in 1964, I think was the first time a non-oriental performed a ninja uh, demo. I think that was in the World's Fair, the last World's Fair we had here in New York. I think it was like 1964, if I'm not mistaken. As far as I know, he was invited by the Japanese Council to perform because they knew his background in ninjutsu. Uh, I met Sensei Duncan at a time that was very uh, uh, fortuitous for me because wherever I turned, I would find the image of ninjutsu. Ninjutsu had not yet been popularized. Uh, the year was 1967, and I was at a dentist's office reading Esquire, and they previewed You Only Live Twice. I looked at another magazine, Time Magazine, they're previewing You Only Live Twice. Black Belt Magazine, December, January, February, 67, 68, ninjutsu. So uh, I began looking, and uh, I found Sensei Duncan. And he gave me a demonstration the very first night that I met him that with all my research, I had no doubt that he was a true ninja. Notwithstanding, he was the only ninja available, not in New York, but in the United States in 1967. The martial arts is here to stay, definitely. We, we're going to find that as the centuries progress, martial arts is going to be utilized in, in very important ways within the fiber of society across this globe. As a matter of fact, it's been used that way now, uh, as as a as a springboard and as a basis for other other things uh, in life.